17 Highview Avenue parking plan and Griffin site plan, neither of them will be heard tonight. Okay? If you're here for um, 115 Corporate Drive, why don't you move up in front so you can hear what's going on? 155. 155, I'm sorry. Okay, with the it's on. Would the applicant please come up, sign in, and state your name for the record, please? Good evening, Mr. Chairman. Members of the board, Daniel Steinhagen, on behalf of the applicant 155 corporate drive uh, LLC, reading uh, head of Animal 50 Chestnut Ridge Road in Montville, New Jersey. Uh, Doug Martels, on behalf of the applicant, who's also the project engineer. Uh, we were here in 2016, uh, got approval for a project that we had contemplated as a two-step, two-phase project. Um, and I think that there was some ambiguity or lack of clarity in terms of how it was presented and approved. Um, phase one was constructed and when we came back to pull our CO for phase one, we were asked to either construct phase two or amend our plan um, to eliminate that second phase so that phase one could be approved and then come back to phase two for a little later. But we're not proposing any new construction or anything different from what was approved back in 2016. If you'd like to have Mr. Bartels give you a full explanation of what happened, but that's really Well, I think we kind of understand it. Um, now, the purpose are you, are you separating the two phases now, or are you going to continue with phase two? There's really no intention to continue with phase two. At the time, we started Can I just say something? Is that mic on? Uh, push the, the button, green light, green light. On. There you go. The intention was build phase one and have the approval basically in their pocket to come back at some time if needed to build the, to do the second phase. Um, they never really desired to have vehicles parked on the same side of the street as the building. Um, basically what it comes down to significantly is the security improvements that had been approved at the driveway. So it's a, that's a costly improvement, plus they, from a security standpoint, their security doesn't want vehicles next to the building. So that was really, um, in the future, if this vehicle, uh, facility expanded beyond what they anticipated and they needed more spaces, this is where they would, you know, they would add the striping in here and park the vehicles. And if they did that, then they would need to add these security improvements. There's no intention, there's no... I also believe you're going to add parking to the... That's done. The so that's area. already been built. This parking out here, this expansion is built. That's done. Okay. That was done with the building expansion. That was phase one. Okay. So all that work is completed. Okay. So what are you looking to do now? Just not Just do not do anything. <laughs> Basically what's out there is going to stay there and that's it. And, and eliminate phase two. So when we originally got the approval, we had a C3 sheet and a C3.1 sheet, and 3.1 was intended as a phase two, which was to add, add striping here and here and these security improvements at the driveway. We just don't want to do that. So we're amending, we're requesting amendment to the approval to eliminate those why, as part of the site. Why would they have to do that? Because I could not give them a CO without them finalizing those, those improvements because it was not separated into two phases. Right. So they're eliminating stuff. And they're eliminating okay, stuff. Fine. Let's just, stuff off. Okay, fine. Right. They're so not even going to do it. Okay. It's we ridiculous. need to amend the site plan for record. Yeah. Then I can issue a CO. Okay. Otherwise, I'd have to issue a TCO. Yeah, so forever. Going on. Right, right. Yeah. Okay, fine. Right. Yeah, you want to read the... Uh, the PRC is no comments uh, from Jane Slavin. Applicant is advised that if any future site improvements are proposed, they must apply for a permit. That's it. Bruce Peters has nothing. Brooker Engineering has nothing. Rockland County Planning. It's not in their jurisdiction. Rockland County Highway, de minimis impact. No Rockland County Health uh, approvals needed. And that's all I have, Cheryl. Oh, I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Just it's it's just. Jane, do you have anything additional? It's. Oh no, what we just got. Okay. Uh, the board members. Ms. Blake, do you have anything? No, no questions. Okay, Mr. Dell. Thank you, Mr. Dell. Uh, no comments, sir. Mr. Garvey. None. Thank you, Mr. Young. Mm -hmm. Nothing, Mr. Chairman. 
Mr. Sweeney. Nothing for me. Mr. Mandel. No comments. Thank you. Um, at this point, I'd like to open it up to the public. Uh, anybody that wishes to speak on this, please come up to the podium. State your name and address for the record, please. Sure. My name is Chi Fan. Um, sure, it's Q I first name, last name F A N. Thirty four Corrigan Way. Way. Yeah. That's uh, what town? In uh, Old Japan. Old Japan, New Jersey. Yes. Actually, my house is right next to the building in the left corner. Um, I know this may be not related, but I would, would bring this up. Um, even this is a, this time we're talking about your parking lot, you but this minutes. building make a. <laughs> make an extremely loud noise at night, and um, um, it's, a, it's e e effect on sleep at night. Um, I, I kind of complained last time, but nothing happened. And um, I want you can imagine if you're, sleep, you're living in a house, you're sleeping at night, all of a sudden a big noise starts. Um, a couple years before, it's not that bad, but now it's getting worse and worse. And, um, even I close all the windows, it's still loud um, to wake me up in the middle of night. Um, I like to put this complaint here. I know this may be not related with parking, this parking, but um, I, I do want to bring your attention on that because um, I, I do have a big complaint about this um, 155. Uh, um, this is the owner. I want to pay attention on this. And I, I want, if this possible, can make a record. Okay. Thank you. Uh, is the noise coming from the cars or trucks, or where's the noise coming from? The building. They have no, 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 I understand that. Yeah. But what type of noise is it from? It's a ventilation that uh, makes the noise. Oh, it's the air conditioning and... and I think so. That, they they have that. ventilation. Okay, because I know that when they came in originally, we did handle that, and they were going to have... Um, consultants work on it uh, on abating the noise yep. and I'm sure that they did that and I uh, you know I I don't I don't know can, can you that's, guys request the same that's thing? true I mean this is I, I don't remember hearing about this specific comment um, but we have absolutely um, I know there's a regular dialogue between um, one of the uh, another one of the neighbors who has generally spoken um, on behalf of the, the group of neighbors um, and she speaks regularly with one of the operators at the facility um, everything is in conformance. They have done studies. They've done tests. They've, they've um, one of the, the, the larger comments in the past has been about the generator um, or the load bank, which is actually supplies the power when they're testing the generators. And they've adjusted their test times to the, mo you know, the most, um, let's say, desirable time or least offensive time. Um, so they've, you know, worked with the neighbors in, in that regard. Um, the cooling towers, which I believe is what uh, the complaint is references, has never been the highest of the noises that were of a concern. It was always the testing of the generators. So I, I'm not sure that I understand what the, the issue would be. And I am confident that it would be in within um, the noise standards. Okay, thank you. Uh, <clears throat> I believe that the applicant is really doing whatever they can with the noise, and they're trying to keep it as low as possible. I would um, like I to much, invite everyone to come do. to my house at night and to listen to it. Then you will know what I'm talking about. It's really loud and it's getting worse. I'm not exaggerating. If I can handle it, I won't complain, but it's, re it's getting worse. That's the part. I don't know how worse they can get to. Okay. The, what, what the only thing I... What time of night are you talking about? Night is like 12 o'clock. 12 o'clock? Yeah. Midnight? Yeah. And mm -hmm. sometimes Saturday will be during the day, the whole morning, okay. the entire morning. The only thing that I can suggest to you is that you go to the building department and make your complaint with the building department, which Ms. Slavic, okay. and, and talk to her and see if you can work out something like that, whether they can do a monitoring or, you know, whatever. Okay. Okay? Thank you. You're I appreciate it. Yeah. Yeah, but the thing about it is that she's from Old Japan, so what do we do? Yeah, I, so do we... Do do, I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not aware of any other complaints. Tomorrow I'll speak with the inspectors and see if they've received any other complaints. But 
I do know that the police department have noise, noise monitors. Okay. I'm not so sure then we'll look into You should call then. The, I'm sorry. Is yeah. it okay? So the, the best thing to do is call the, the Orange Town Police Department and ask them to go out and take a and take a look. Okay. And yeah. then and then they can they can set up monitors and, and well, see yeah, what's let's going not on. get too crazy, but they yeah. they're not going to set something up, but they'll go out and whatever right. devices right. they have. Don't ask. I don't know what to say. Yes. Okay. All right. So who should I contact? You, you should that? contact the police. Police, police off. Okay. Yes. The desk. Okay. Great. Okay. Thank you. Not I appreciate your help. Just call no, the police don't department. Call right. Call just call the police department. Okay. Yeah. Thank, you. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mr. Hey. Chairman, just one question sure. for them. What is the least offensive time to test the generators? During the during working day. That's during what I want to know. What are we talking about? What times? I believe it is during the work day, yes. But I, again, that that's a specific conversation that has occurred between someone who works for Bloomberg at the facility and the neighbors. Well, no, I, I don't know. When we approved it. The testing was supposed to be done during the day. Yeah. If oh, yeah. It's, it's not going to. It's at night. Then it's, you're no, 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 no. Absolutely not occurring at night. No. Well, what's happening? Okay. So I'm going to ask the question, right. even yeah. though so what's happening at 12 o'clock? That that this is. It would have to be the cooling towers. What's that? The cooling okay. towers. Yeah, but okay. Now the, the but, one but, thing but, that. No, 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 no. Well, let's back up, okay? Because uh, this is one thing that I know about, okay? The cooling towers, if you're, unless you're starting this AC equipment on and the cooling towers are starting up at noon, at night, uh, then that's, that's, you have to let us know that. The cooling towers should be, if, you're, if your AC is, is cooling this system 24-7, the it cooling is. towers are running 24-7. So don't tell me that the cooling towers are coming on at midnight, uh, that all of a sudden at midnight the cooling towers are starting. They're, okay? they're certainly not testing the generators during well, the night. Something's happening at midnight. So it might be in your best interest to figure it out and, and I will let the building department know what's happening. I will speak with our tenant about it. Can't it can't just be the cooling towers because what the late, what the, the neighbor is saying is that it's happening at midnight. So it's not like it's not like it's is it you know what? Come back up. Because I'll start asking the questions. Is it so you're saying that it you, it's tolerable up until midnight? That's what you're saying? No. Okay. It's dark. It started at midnight. At least the noise we can hear. Well, you have to understand what I'm saying. You're saying, okay, so what's happening when you get home from work and, and during? I don't hear anything. Okay, all right. So now we have now we're now we're we're focusing on something, right? So at around midnight, you start hearing something that's intolerable. Th uh, Wednesday, normally. Wednesday. Wednesdays. Wednesday. Okay, mm -hmm. and only Wednesdays. Wednesday and Saturday. Saturday. You're testing your generator, and you better find out what's going on because that's what's happening. I certainly will. That's that's Miss Slavin. That's what's happening. There's no way this thing is going to be the cooling towers, and uh, so somebody has to find out if those if that generator is being tested at night, and if it is, you're in violation, like Mr. Mandel said. Or to find out if it's not the generators, what is what it is, the, what is creating the. And noise. I I will. Yeah. Okay. I will. Okay. Thank you, ma'am. Okay. Is there anybody else? If you, I'm not sure what you uh, gentlemen are here for, but uh, High View parking plan and Griffin site plan has been postponed. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Sorry to Sorry. make you sit there, but late, we, we announced it. We announced it when uh, when we started the meeting. Okay. Um, I'm looking on a schedule. We it don't doesn't, know. Doesn't give us a time yet, so I'm really not too sure. You have to check with the uh, with the clerk's office down the, no, the building no, department. Yeah. Yes. Yep. Yeah. It's also on the. You can check the website. Okay, and I just want to be clear about something, and I don't want to be accu uh, accusatory here. It sounds like they're testing the generator at night on Wednesdays. Okay. Once I understand. I understand why you would say that. Midnight sounds like something is happening, mm -hmm. and it sounds like that generator is being tested at midnight. So, whether or not the cycle on the testing has it's usually it's pretty automatic and nobody really notices it, but it's my guess that the clock is off, or that somebody got and you know said we should you know that this is the time and we we should test it. Mm -hmm. So somebody needs to go back and find out what's happening on Wednesdays at midnight and Saturdays. I will right? get it. Is that it? Yes. Okay. I'll be on so, the phone with them tomorrow. Okay. So, thank you. Okay. Um, 
Nobody else in the public wishes to speak? Well, I, I'm not sure if I really want to go f forward with this unless uh, I hear uh, whether, whether or not they want to come back and, uh, and tell us what it is. Well, I think you they know? can handle it with the building department. Okay. Well, then what do we say if it doesn't? That, okay, so here's the thing. Then let's make, it, let's make it a condition of the CO that if they don't satisfy the building department with the noises, they have to come back to us. Okay? Can we do that, Rich? Sure. How about that? Mm-hmm. Yes. Mm-hmm. Well, there's a noise They have factor. to track all the, you know, every hour it's run. But it, there should be a lot of generators picking out at midnight. It, most likely, yeah, for the noise factor, it probably is a generator, but there's a noise factor which we don't know what it is. Right. Midnight on Wednesdays like and Saturdays. Like I said, Saturdays. I didn't want to be accusatory because I'm right. not there. Right. But it well, sounds like to me at there. Wednesday. Now, ma'am, you that's it, right? It's not like occurring all the time. It's just like every Wednesday night this thing is kicked, whatever it is, okay, let's be clear. Whatever it is, is kicking on at midnight and on Saturdays. And what time on Saturdays? During the day. Okay, so during the day. But is, is it every Saturday now that this is when you're noticing it? Yes, okay. In my professional opinion, okay, having done this for years, it sounds like somebody's testing the generator. Yeah, the timing sequence is off on it. Yes. So it's coming on at the wrong time. So it would be in your best interest to make sure that the generator testing Absolutely. clock is reset, yeah, we, okay? We have no problem doing that. Yeah. Okay. No, I, I, I don't think the applicant was aware. No, that. I mean, that caught me by surprise. And, and I don't think your supposition is it's unreasonable at all. On, uh, the cooling tower. I don't know why they would do a Wednesday night and a Saturday afternoon. It doesn't because make Probably sense. because there's very, very minimal people there, and they probably inside, if they're listening to those, load, those banks, you know, churn around, they probably don't hear, you know? That's, I, I, okay, <laughs> supposition on my part. No, that's all I'm it, saying. And if it's not. Having been in data rooms and data centers and everything that's going on with the indoor I understand, AC equipment. No, I understand where you're coming from. I just, I don't, I'm trying to understand why they would possibly, because they know this is an issue. The timing's off on it. The clock's something's off. I, I hope that's yeah. the case. I don't and think that anybody. Like I said, it I will, sounds like everyone. I don't think unless don't somebody's think being told to, to hit that button. Yeah. And yeah. Yeah. yeah, so that's what it sounds yeah. like. I will. <coughs> I will email them when I get out of here, and I'll be on the phone with them. But in the if morning. it's not the uh, test of generators, what they have to find out what it is. You should find out what it is and correct it. Yes, we will. Been beaten to death. Okay. Approving it conditionally, because how long is that going to drag out for? If it's not approved, it's going to be deemed approved after a certain amount of time. Okay. I'm so, I, so I think I'll it's probably whatever the majority says. says. So, okay. if, so I, I'm the applicant. Is it all right? Just come back, and this can be established on the record whether that is the problem and there was a violation or not. I, I mean, I, I don't have a problem reporting back, but we'd like an approval so we can get our CO. If, 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 I, don't, I don't know how the two are related. If, I mean, this is. Turn your mic on. Is there any, is there any uh, problem with getting this done, let's say, within uh, 30 days? No. I mean, I, I would reasonably assume that I will have an explanation tomorrow. Okay. I mean, I so don't, these, you know, sounds like you're very knowledgeable about this, Mr. Garvey. I, I don't, you know, these are pretty finely tuned uh, uh, facilities that, you know, are, um, maintained constantly, so I can't imagine they're not going to be able to figure out what the issue is or tell me what it is. And if they're doing something wrong, then, you know, we'll correct it. All right, so well, you would, you would be able to give us an answer within 30 and, days. And let them go to the building department. Talk to I think we need to have a relatively short time period. Okay. Yes, no, I agree. So why, is 30 days reasonable or is that too long? I don't think that's a problem. Yeah, hold on, hold on. Everybody's talking. I'm sorry. I, th I think that, that we should, my opinion, is give you 30 days, the maximum, and that you have to go to the building department and give them your findings. Mm -hmm. And if you find that it is whatever it is and it's cor correctable and that you have corrected, then I think the building department should be uh, able to issue you a CO if, if that's okay with you. Okay. So that they okay. can legally 
by the right. condition. 30 days, if they do not resolve the issue in 30 days, the TCO is revoked and they have to come back. They gotta come back. Right. Um, yes. I will write mm -hmm. the condition of the TCO with that as well. So okay. your decision will be written that way. Right. And my TCO, which is a signed agreement by both parties, is also written. Is the board okay with that? Okay. Yeah. I, okay? yeah. I, I, I just have a question. Sure. Um, let's say we find out that it's not the generator and it's something like an exhaust fan and it's within the appropriate levels and the, there's a complaint. Then you have to correct it. No, 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 no. no. Yeah, if it's so within the, then then that's, that's a determination question. of the, but okay. that's a determination so that the building department is going to make, and and someone's going to have to go out there and see if that's the case or not. And if that's the case, then we, you know, then it is what it is. I, I don't know what else we can do about it. But I would, I would hope that, uh, in the spirit of things, that you would do what you, the best that you can to. And it doesn't sound like it's a fan blower. That's you know, again. It's just that that, that was the. I, I'm, just, I'm just the only reason I asked that is because that was what the complaint was the last time we were here. So that I, something I, was kicking. That a fan was kicking yeah, on at I'm, twelve o'clock. I'm looking. No, it, it, I'm looking at the resolution from. September 28th, 2016, and Ms. Fan was complaining about fans. Yes, the, the, they yeah, were right. what they I were complaining. Sure no, 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 don't interrupt me, okay? You, uh, you spoke, now my turn, right? That's the way it works here? Okay, so the, 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 the issue back then was that the fans were running continuously all the time, okay? And, or the concern was that they were gonna run continuously all the time. What the applicant has stated was that they were going to do their best to minimize that noise level, which we believe that they did. What's happening now is either an additional piece of equipment that wasn't part of the original uh, app, you know, and we, it wouldn't, we, wouldn't, we wouldn't know, okay, is, but something is happening on Wednesdays and Saturdays that's causing this disruption, okay? So all we're asking is that we come back with an explanation, you know? If the buildings department and Ms. Slavin is not satisfied, you're coming back, right? Mm -hmm. Right? Yes. Right? Victoria, <laughs> okay. The reason why we are leaning towards issuing the temporary CO is because it's an intermittent thing, only Wednesday nights right. and Saturday. If it was a constant thing, then you wouldn't get it and then you'd have to correct the issue, regardless of what it was. If only unless it wasn't within the parameters of the noise. Right. If they would right. have to correct it. Right. If it was in the parameters of, of what the codes are, then they would, away we go. Right. Okay. All right. Let me go back to where we were. Uh, any, we're going to close the uh, public session. I make motion a motion. Close. Okay. I'll second. Mr. Mandel, Mr. Uh, Garvey. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Um, so what do we do with this? We're just going to go ahead and give them the temporary CO? Is this a you may make a final, final final condition. Okay. They have passed all their other inspections. Okay, so we don't have to do the neg deck or anything else, no? Should we? That's all been I mean, done. We usually this is, this is a, this we, we usually re declare. Re, re declare? It? Yes. Okay. So I'll make the motion for neg deck. Second. Okay. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None. Okay. We're gonna have uh, final with conditions. I'll make the motion for final with the condition. Okay. The one uh, with Ms. Slavik says? Two, the two to conditions, because one is Jane Slavin's condition yes. about the permit, okay, number one, and the other condition is that the applicant has 30 days to uh, determine what the, uh, what the piece of equipment is that's uh, coming on on Wednesdays and Saturdays at or, at or around midnight and at or around sometime in the afternoon on Saturdays, and will contact the buildings department within 30 days and the buildings department will determine whether or not uh, they are they have satisfied all of the all of the noise abatement uh, issues and report back to us and let us know okay I, I, I yeah you can listen lawyer it up I, I think the issue is whether they're in violation of the condition um, okay. if they're in violation of the condition that they don't have whatever it is running, that's what it should be. Yes, so if I'm fine with that. If they're not in violation of that condition, it's a noise complaint that whoever has problems with it can report to the police or go to the building department. I don't think we should hold up the application for a noise complaint that is not in violation of the condition. I so they just have to establish the fact that they're not in violation. If they are, sure, within the next 30 days, and you have to find more approval. 
Okay, everybody fine with that? Very good. Mm -hmm. well, they're okay. correct. Yeah. It's a violation. It must be correct. Yes. Yes. I'll second it. Okay. Ms. Bly seconded. All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? None? Good luck. Thank you. Thank you very much. Okay, so we have um, new business. So go ahead. I thought this lead agency thing we did yeah, actually I'm last not sure week. If I did that or not. I thought I did. I signed something. Uh oh, here he comes. He's going to yell at me now. And what's the other thing? Right here? This is, you have this to, is you making have to, um, zoning the lead agency oh, yeah, on right. this item? What's that? If anybody wants to stick around and go out at midnight, we can all go out and hear it. <laughs> I'm just saying. <laughs> um, here. Christ Church. You know. So basically, it's it's a it's a, a change. So if you could just say, does anybody have a problem with this? Piece? Okay, I, we're, we're, I'm looking at the Living Christ Church. Is there any problems with anybody on it? No. Too small. Yeah. The other business is uh, zoning, zoning maps. Yes. Yes. It's got the short EAF, yeah, yeah, it's got yeah, everything. Yeah. I got a sign? Go. All right. No, this is a different one. I'll sign this one too. You know, I'm going to wind up giving my house away. Yep, that's right. Good luck. This is the same thing. You already signed it. You already signed it. So, yeah. Oh, there you go. Meeting closed. Thank you. Listen, have fun.